Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to part 19 of my tutorial series on how to create the game Super Mario Brothers. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add Goombas to our game through the tiled map editor, which is going to basically simulate Super Mario Bros. Maker. Um, so if you're interested in learning how to do that, go ahead and stick with me. So the first step is to go ahead and create a new object layer. We're going to title that Goombas. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and select our rectangle uh, object uh, creator. And we're going to go in and create some Goombas here. You can hold, if you're using a Mac, you can hold the command key to create a perfect square um, here. So we're going to create some between these pipes. Um, and I don't know, somewhere down here, probably another Goomba as well. There we go. So I actually want to add one more right here so I can show you collision between two enemies. And then I want you to take note that the Goomba uh, layer is layer 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So layer 6 is our Goomba's object layer. So instead of our B2 world creator, we're going to create a new private array of Goombas. And we're going to call this Goombas. And then down here below where we create our coins, we're going to say create all Goombas. And we'll create, um, we'll say Goombas equals new array, Goomba array. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, paste it right here. Instead of layer four, like I said, we're going to get layer six. And then we're going to create a new, uh, we're going to say Goombas dot add new Goomba. And then we pass it our screen and then the rect dot get X divided by Mario Bros dot PPM. And then rect dot get Y divided by Mario Bros dot PPM. Always remember to scale. Now let's go ahead and uh, generate a getter for our Goomba. So getter and we'll go Goomba. So it'll just return Goombas. So inside of our play screen uh, in our box 2D variables, let's create the private uh, B2 world creator. And we'll just call this creator here. We're going to get rid of our Goomba here. We're going to scroll down a little bit to where we created our new world creator. Previously, we didn't define it to a variable, so we're just going to say creator equals a new BT world creator. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this Goomba. We're going to get rid of the update the Goomba here, and we're going to get rid of the draw Goomba here. Now, inside of our play screens update method, we're going to say for enemy enemy inside of our world uh, or our creator sorry creator dot get goombas later we'll change that to get enemies when we add turtles and stuff like that um, we're going to say enemy dot update and give it a delta time now right now enemy doesn't have a update method but we're going to change that here in a second and we're just going to go ahead and copy this there we go paste it in the draw method uh, right after we draw our player and we'll say enemy dot draw and then give it our game dot batch now let's go ahead and go to our enemy class and add a public uh, abstract void update method that takes in a float delta time so now all enemies must have an update method which makes sense because they're moving enemies so let's go ahead and test this out. I just hit the run button here. And so we come across two Goombas there. We come across some uh, moving Goombas here. And the reason that these Goombas aren't moving is because we haven't handled uh, in our collision handler what to do when two enemy objects collide. Uh, so if I go ahead and stomp one, that one will go ahead and continue moving. Let's go around the other side of our world where we created our last Goomba. Make sure he is there. Um, but basically, that is um, that is it. I mean, we are basically creating a Super Mario Maker uh, with our game entitled. So inside of our world contact listener, let's go ahead and create a new case. Uh, the case that uh, Mario Bros. Dot enemy bit 
collides with Mario Bros. dot enemy bit. And then what we're going to say is we're going to copy this right here. We're going to paste it here. And we're going to paste this here. We're going to say that both uh, enemies should reverse their velocity. So fixture A and fixture B should both uh, re uh, reverse their velocities. And then we'll go ahead and break there. So hitting the play button, now let's go see if we fixed everything, and it looks like we did. We have two Goombas colliding with each other and reversing velocities, keeping them both moving. Uh, so let's go ahead and test some stomping here. There we go. Stomp, stomp, stomping Goombas, and we did it. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. We learned a little bit about the basics of using tile to add enemies into our game, which basically simulates uh, Super Mario Maker, which is really cool. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it, but most importantly, uh, please share it. Uh, if you did like it, of course, I'm trying to grow this channel. I appreciate all you guys' uh, support and feedback. It's been great. Uh, if you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. I give you two big thumbs up for that. I appreciate all you guys watching and I'll catch you guys next time.